Welcome back to Great Day Washington. Yes, we are celebrating National Dog Day today and here with us in studio we have Stephanie Smith who is the Director of Development at Lucky Dog Animal Rescue and some cute really well behaved friends with you today too. Good boys, good boys yes. here with us this morning. Who do we have? So we have Jones here, right? This is Jones. He is a two-year-old lab mix from Florence, oh, South Carolina. Nice. And then who's that little this cutie? This is Dominic. He is an 11 month old rescue from uh, the Vigo Rescue, uh, Beagle. Mm. He just joined us on Wednesday uh, in one of the Beagle transports. Wow. What do you think of him so far? Has he been he's adjusting precious. okay? Yeah, yeah, he's learning how to dog, right? He's been in a facility mm -hmm. for a long time. Um, he's kind of, we think that he touched grass maybe for the first time yesterday. Wow. He's really comfortable with another dog. He's really enjoying his time here this morning with Joe. He Jones. is. He's already on TV. Right? He's on TV. <laughs> uh, so he's had a busy week. He's definitely had a busy week and he's precious. They're both so precious. Yeah, Jones over here is super calm. <laughs> Two he, years old, really yeah. well behaved. So at Lucky Dog Animal Rescue, obviously it's not just dogs that you all are trying to find a home for, right? Yes. Um, since 2009, we've rescued and found homes for over 23,000 dogs and cats. And we're foster based, which is really nice. So all of our animals live in foster care. So they interact with other animals, with kids, with cats, with dogs. Um, we're volunteer powered and foster based here in the community. Just together so with So every animals. animal is in a foster home. Every animal is oh, in a foster home. Oh, that's wonderful. Home. So they're getting acclimated to that life. They yeah. are. And then we learn more about them too. So we can share that with mm -hmm. potential adopters. Yeah, the descriptions of your dogs are incredible. <laughs> it's not just bios. like, here's their color. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is, this is their name, their color. Um, yeah. But yeah, their bios are really interesting. So uh -huh. you can go on the website, luckydoganimalrescue.org, and learn all about our adoptable animals. Um, you know, thousands come in each year, and we find homes for all of them. So. What do you say to those that are looking for a pet to adopt a pet to make sure it's right for them? Absolutely. So when they, ad when they reach out, they're going to go through our approval process. They're going to work with one of our volunteers, our adoption coordinators. You can ask any question under the sun. Our adoption coordinators have a whole series of questions they'll ask to make sure that that match is just right. And then they can meet them. You know, we have adoption mm -hmm. events every Saturday and Sunday. Um, this weekend will be on Saturday at the PetSmart in Alexandria and on Sunday at the PetSmart in Silver Spring. Will both of these dogs be there? They will be. Okay, okay. Um, Jones 100% will be on Sunday. I know uh, Dominic will be Saturday and Sunday. Okay. This, this has got to take a lot of volunteers if it's it, foster based. It does. We're over 2,000 active volunteers mm, and hundreds wow. of fosters. It's just a phenomenal community of lucky dog people all working together around the clock to save lives. So those that maybe uh, aren't volunteering with you but want to help somehow, mm -hmm. like maybe they aren't ready to adopt a pet but they yeah, want to help. How can they help? Well, we don't receive state or federal funding, so donations. Donations make this all possible. They can visit luckydoganimalrescue.org, learn more about us, um, to volunteer, to foster, to ad uh, adopt, or, or donate. Um, there's also a lot of different volunteer opportunities that are behind the scenes, too, mm -hmm. if they're interested in those. But donations are key, you know, saving thousands yeah. of lives each year. There's veterinary costs, there's transport costs. Yeah. Um, right, because you're getting them back to healthy, back to being able to go to yeah. their loving Vaccinated, home. Vaccinated, microchipped, spay yeah. and neuter as necessary. Especially Dominic, I would imagine. Especially yeah. Dominic. Um, oh. You know, we know with our own animals, you know, there's critical care. Veterinary costs can be yeah. expensive, um, and sometimes surgery needs are there. So, mm. yeah, we rescue them and find homes for them, and uh, along the way, treat all the needs that are needed. What's it like for you having, you know, getting to know these animals and then seeing them go to a loving home? It's so full circle you know mm. it is so precious and it's so full circle and just so invigorating that you find these kind kind little you know really they say they're cool. they're angels without wings <laughs> right <laughs> you, these, he's yeah jones is leaving me jones, it's where okay, you going jones. Um, like I've sat and behaved. I so know. Long. There you so go. Good this good morning. Job. Seeing them arrive, seeing them maybe timid or scared or right. everything's new or knowing where they yeah. came from, um, and then finding that loving forever home and just you know, that smiling cat or dog. Like, yeah. They're so happy, they're so excited, and they have so much love to give. It's, yeah. it's really beautiful. How do you not get attached, though? That's <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, we'll let no, you two you're go and play here. with each other. So the yes. two events this weekend, but you have adoption events every weekend. Every single weekend uh, throughout the DMV, Saturdays okay. and Sunday. All right, well, awesome. we want to remind you, if you're interested in helping out, you can visit luckydoganimalrescue.org. And I mean, come on, these, these have our new lovies mascot. need a beautiful <laughs> home. Any questions, feel free to send them to info at luckydoganimalrescue.org also. Awesome. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.